The National Coalition for the Homeless says more seniors than ever are living on the streets, and for one Bridgeport family, that problem hits close to home. Our Frank Recchia has the story tonight. I can't be on the street, so I can't see my mother on the street. A cold December morning here at a motel in Milford finds senior citizen Lois Walker beginning her day with the same routine she has followed for a lifetime. What's drastically different, Lois says, is that she and her mom are about to be living, quite literally, on the streets of Bridgeport. What am I going to do? I'm on oxygen. They were evicted from their home three weeks ago, and they say their modest savings has provided them a kind of lifeline by allowing them to stay in this motel. <laughs> but the money's gone now, Lois says, so they are officially at the end of their rope. I feel terrible because I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. I don't know where I'm going to be. You've never been homeless before. No. Lois's mom, Essie, remembers growing up down south and says in spite of all the struggles her family went through, they always had a roof over their head and a floor beneath their feet. Lois says she's called 211, quote, a million times, but nobody has ever been able to help her little family. I've tried everything. There's nothing left. I've tried everything, and I've been trying. I was trying before I got evicted. The National Coalition for the Homeless says homelessness among seniors has been steadily rising in 2022. You all right? With seniors standing a much higher chance than younger people of dying from health conditions acquired or aggravated by the state of being homeless. Agency on Aging saying today, the nonprofit spends millions of dollars in Connecticut every year addressing the issue of homelessness among seniors and will be working in 2023 with local communities to support specialized shelters for the senior population. But Lois says in the short term, that offers exactly zero hope to her and her mom. This hurt me from my heart. I saw my mother, I saw your mother. Meantime, family friend Tony Barr, who says he grew up with the Walkers in the P.T. Barnum community, telling us the situation will never get better. You sure? Until, quote, substantially more affordable housing is built to accommodate seniors like Lois and Essie. As a community, we as a society, we have to do better by these seniors. In Milford, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut. The family has started a GoFundMe to help them get into a new apartment. We have that at News12.com.